Hey guys, it's Scott Leroy of Scott Leroy Marketing coming in for another weekly update. So today's update is about some of the changes that just recently happened last Friday on the 9th inside Command. So if you guys haven't been inside Command in the past couple days, you might notice the homepage looks a little bit different on here. So first thing first, this is the biggest change, right? So obviously the homepage is completely updated. Prior to this, you just had a bunch of different boxes on here that literally did the exact same thing as what you're seeing over here for the menu. All right, so one of the biggest items on here, obviously, is now you have your task front and center on here inside all the different widgets. I probably should get around this task on here to check in with Bruce Wayne. All right, I'll update that later. Down below, you'll actually have your database health that you can also find over inside your reports section. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. This will also display in your reports. So that way you can actually see, you know, of your database, what's the percentage that have phone numbers, emails, addresses, and neighborhoods on here. You also happen to have a notepad over on the right hand side where you can just jot down some information. If you notice on here, it looks very similar to like an email on Gmail with the same functionality that you have for the different options on here. All right. And then, of course, at the top up here, this is what I really like on it. You can actually see what's currently new and then what's next on here as well. All right. So you can actually find all the product updates instead of going through KW Connect directly now. It's automatically going to let you know. So moving forward, if you want to see like, hey, something changed on here, you can actually look at the product updates over here and view that immediately. Now, another big item on here is obviously the cosmetic change. Right? This looks pretty much identical to what we had previously. But then at the very top up here, you'll notice instead of it just being white and blue, it's now this kind of dark gray, white, and then obviously the KW Red up here for the KW logo. All right, so this is one of the big changes they recently did on here, cosmetic. I think it looks fantastic because obviously it gives it a little bit more pop on command now instead of, you know, what it looked like before. Obviously, nothing wrong with the white and blue on there. It kind of looks uh, like Kelly-ish. All right, but this makes it stand out a little bit more and uh, definitely easier to read in my opinion. So they had a, a poll recently inside one of the command Facebook groups just asking, you know, which one do you like better on here to kind of go through and and double check on that and this is the one that I actually chose so I'm glad they went with it um, then of course the top right up here here's the marketplace where you can access this this is where you'll be able to actually see a bunch of different vendor options that you can add into command as well once again you still have the bell icon on here for all your notifications and then of course at the same time you also happen to have the same option up here with your headshot your name profile settings command training and logout on here now, one of the other big items that you guys probably are noticing down here, it does not say support anymore. It doesn't have the lab icon. It doesn't have the option where you can actually chat with, you know, Kelly or anything. That is now up here inside the little question mark icon. Once you click on that, now you'll see KW University, chat with support, the same Kelly bot option or the option to chat with support or send an email. And then, of course, post an idea. All right, this will help out tremendously because before sometimes this would block the save button and you kind of had to go in between some of the different options on there. So it's nice that this has moved up here, just slides in and out very easily. So this is a great update on here. So if you haven't played around with this, check it out because cosmetically it looks fantastic and I think you guys will love it. And this is easily one of my favorite things on here just to stay up to date with everything that's been updated on here. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.